Good morning and welcome back to Graceville. We have already eaten and we are supposed to have done our chores and I just want to show you that even when we do our chores, sometimes things are not quite right. Things are not always as I want them. They're not always in order. Sometimes it's little things like we don't have a tablecloth. We have a couple of items out. We have a couple of cups out. We have some bananas out. We have leftover salad from last night. We have a few different bags that are out. The point is things are not perfect, but that's okay. When I went to fuss at my guy for not having his stuff done, I saw him reading and I said, you know what? forget about it. I started the laundry and I said let's go take our morning walk and that's exactly what we did. For a brief moment I started to think about oh how I want to do this and this in my laundry room, how I want to make it over and I decided let me go outside and get some fresh air and let me appreciate what I do have. And in this season, as I say goodbye to my flower farm and all my roses and flowers and all the things that I work so hard to try to build, I'm thankful that that season has come to an end and I'm grateful that there is a new season that's emerging, just like these evergreens. Even among all the dead things that need to be picked, there's still some life and some beauty and something new and something exciting to be grateful for. I love the scripture, for I know the thoughts and plans I have for you, declares the Lord. So, I am welcoming this new season of life. And I want to impress upon you that whatever your season is, that you welcome it. Because regardless, it's coming, so we might as well have a positive outlook. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Christy. I am a wife of 12 years. I'm a mom of five, and this is my 10th year homeschooling. In this video, I'm simply speaking from my heart, hopefully encouraging, inspiring, and motivating you in your faith, your home, your homeschool, your life. And... I'm sharing a little bit with you of my homeschool day and then I'm sharing with you a little bit of kind of the end of the day where I'm wrapping it up and working on some clutter and doing some deep cleaning but I wanted you to just see how you can't compare one season to another there were so many things I didn't get to accomplish and I didn't get to do the way I wanted them done in this season of my life and then when I go and I'm walking and looking at my neighbor and he has all these collards and greens and mustards and all these things that I had intentions on doing and wanted to do, but wasn't able to, and I realized the season is different. I had young children, not as young as some of you, but my youngest is five, my oldest is 15. This guy is retired and his children are all grown. So just like I can't compare what I grew or didn't grow <laughs> to my neighbors who's in a different season of life, I just wanna encourage you that when you're looking at various people, that yes, you get encouraged and inspired, but that you don't compare because at the end of the day, their season is different from your season and what you can accomplish in one season will always be more than you can accomplish in another. It just depends on what season it is. And I don't want you to worry if this is not your season to accomplish much because that means your season to accomplish much is on the way. Now let's be clear. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. 
I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward. In Christ Jesus, all of us who are mature should take such a view. I never want you to watch your videos and think that you're alone or that um, no one can relate to you and no one understands. I want to let you know that I understand oh so well. But I also want to let you know this is a really great time to stretch your faith. This is a really good time to trust God, to trust Yeshua, and to see what He is doing in your life, what harvest He wants to reap. Because we know that in due season, we will reap if we faint not. And we're not fainting. Because we've been through too much. We've come too far. We've done too much work to stop now. So, the only solution is just to keep on pressing. And let's see what this end is going to be. I promise you I was not planning on giving you guys a scripture. <laughs> But none of these two videos that I make are the same. I always think I'm going to do this or do that. And then some word will come to me or some scripture. And all I can do is just go with the flow. So I'm going to read Ecclesiastes 3. There is a time for everything. And a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep. A time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken away from it. God does it so that people will fear him. Wow, there is a scripture for everything. I think I'm pretty convinced at this point. So this may not be my time to have a magnificent winter garden like I desired, like I dreamed and envisioned and had grand in my mind. have a feeling that what I'm doing right now in my home and on YouTube is planting a garden. I believe with every fiber of my being, I'm planting some good seeds right now 
onto some very fertile ground. And although I have no idea what it will be or when it will be or how it will come about, I know that I am going to reap a harvest because I'm planting seeds from and with a pure heart. So I have to ask the question because I hear it. What are you planting? What things are you planting in your home? in your life, in the lives of those around you? What seeds are you sowing? Are you sowing and planting something good or something negative? What's coming out of your mouth? Is it something positive or is it something negative? Are you speaking life or are you speaking death? To everything, there is a season Please don't be burdened and sad and down if this season that you're just left out of didn't go the way you wanted, or if this season that we're about to enter doesn't seem like it's going the way you want it. Have faith that this season will be the right season for you. And in this season, you will have all that you need. And in this season, all of your needs shall be supplied. And in this season, you will grow and flourish despite what it looks like and how you feel. When I just had babies, remember I had a baby every two years. (laughs) When I was nursing, my life was so very different than when I had toddlers and now that I have a five-year-old it looks so different than when I was nursing in with toddlers and it was so different when I only had the four boys but now that I have a girl it's so different it's so different and that's okay because I'm learning how to adjust to this season and I want you to learn how to adjust to your new seasons as well. And I don't want you to think of, oh, it's a new season because of today. I've had my daughter for five years. She just turned five. I'm still adjusting to this season. <laughs> it's still a new thing for me. I'm still learning how to really be a girl mom. I didn't even know like they made clip-on earrings because... She doesn't have her ears pierced, but there's just so many things that I just didn't know. And so in this season, I'm just taking time to learn and I am listening, speaking what I've been given to speak and just doing, giving and being my best. And in this season, I encourage you to give, be and do your best. That's enough, Mama. I was talking to a sweet friend, Erin, the other day. And, (laughs) you know, I don't know if I would be the way I am in its fullest totality if it wasn't for my spouse. He was um, in the military. His father's retired military and he is OCD, his mom is OCD, and so life looks very different for me because I try to be as intentional as possible to accommodate him and making sure that I'm doing the things that bring him the most joy, that bring him the most peace, and bring him the most comfort, making him the happiest. I know that's not something that we always want to hear. I know we don't want to hear about that we should serve our husbands and love our husbands and we should see what they want and we should try hard to do the things that they're asking us to do. We don't always want to hear that, but I think biblically it's right. And so although I am more of a carefree. (laughs) Look, there's a butterfly. Oh, let's go explore. (laughs) I have learned and I am learning to be more disciplined. Like, I see the butterfly and I want to go explore it. But I have to do X, Y, Z, so I'm going to be focused. 
And although it's different for me, I know in some ways it's good for me as well. So I'm curious, do you clean and home make and home keep the way you do because you love it, because you can't function if you don't, or do you find that you do it more so for your spouse and for their happiness? I'm really curious. Either way, at the end of the day, it needs to be done. It must be done. So then my proposal is that I do it with joy. And that, hey, I make the absolute best of it, that I have the most fun that I can while doing it, and I look my best. I don't have on my robe. (laughs) But I'm getting it done. And I tell you, it feels so good going to bed with a clean kitchen. It feels so good waking up to a clean kitchen. I mean, a way to truly ensure that I'm going to have a good day is waking up to a clean kitchen. And I hate to say it, but a way to ensure that I'm going to wake up to not such a good day is to have a junky, messy kitchen. Oh, can anyone else agree with me on that one? Anyway, seasons change. Where you are right now is not where you're going to always be. This will not always be your portion. And the things that you struggle with now won't even be an issue with later. So while you have it, just make the most and best of it. Because soon the season will change and you may find that you'll even miss the season that you're in currently. I know, it's like, how could I miss this? But yes, it is possible. So I'm glad you've decided to join me for another video. I hope it touched you, inspired you, motivated you in some way. I hope it encouraged and strengthened your faith. I always see here on my channel, you can do a lot with a little. And until the ne- next video, blessings. You are enough and you're loved by the King.